this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. So if I have a decimal number like 0 0.4, 0 0.24 and 3.125, the first thing I'm aiming to do is to get rid of the decimal numbers. See all these decimal numbers? I want to get rid of them. So because this has one decimal number, I'm going to multiply it by 10. 0.4 multiplied by 10 gives me 4. This has two decimal numbers, 0.24, so I'm going to multiply it by 100. And that will give me, 0.24 will change to 24. 3.125, okay, has three decimal numbers, so I need to multiply that by 1,000. And then that will give me 3,125. So can you see how first I've changed all these numbers to be numbers that are not decimal numbers? Then all you do is you take the number that you multiplied it by and put that down as the denominator. So I multiplied 0.4 by 10. So I put the 10 at the bottom. I multiplied 0.24 by 100, so I put 100 at the bottom. And then I multiplied 3.125 by 1,000, so I put 1,000 at the bottom. Notice that this fraction is now an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Now, once you've done this, it's then just a case of simplifying. So 2 tenths is the same as 2 fifths, and that's in its simplest form. If you've forgotten how to simplify fractions, then I will link the video for that in the description below and above this video. So to convert a fraction to a decimal, you need to use short division to do this. So I'm going to put a short division bus stop then the numerator goes inside of the bus stop and the 7 goes on the outside of the bus stop. Then it's just a simple short division question. How many 7s in 2? Well, there are 0. So then you would put a, a decimal point and a 0 and then you need to carry the 2. How many sevens in 20? 7, 14. There are two. Don't forget to put my decimal point up here as well. How many remainders are there? Well, two sevens are 14, so that gives me six remainders. How many sevens in 60? Well, seven sevens are 49. Eight sevens are 56. So that would be eight. And I've now got to two decimal places, so I'm not going to go any further because that's all you need to do. So I've changed two sevenths into a decimal. Let's do one more example. Five sixths. So draw out your bus stop. Numerator goes inside. Denominator goes outside. How many sixes in five? Zero. Decimal point. Decimal point, draw a zero, carry the five. How many sixes in 50? There are, there are eight. Put another zero down. So six eights are 48, so that gives me two remainder. How many sixes in 20? There are three. So five sixths is the same as 0.83. Now, the reason why this may be a little tricky for you is basically because you cannot fully do short division yet. So to be able to change a fraction to a decimal, if you can do what I've just done here on the board, then I suggest you learn this first before trying to convert fractions to decimals. Hope this video has been helpful for you today. Have a good day.